Shalom, Brother Rock coming to you with another video. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone for teaching us 100% truth according to the Bible and who rule well. Okay, and a double Shalom to all the Akim out there pushing the truth and truth and sincerity regardless of whom here or forbears. <clears throat> Salakia. These videos we do only for the hopeful elect, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and confusion of faces. All right. Now, the title of this video is called, When You Catch in Hell, Take It Cheerfully. Okay. All right. Now, I'm going to jump right into it. Sirach, chapter 2, verse 4. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take it cheerfully. OK, when you catch in hell, OK, your money's tight. OK, you're going through a lot of struggles. Your woman may have left you. All right. Or you may, um, you know, anything could happen to, you know, to us in the flesh. You know, you're, you're, you may um, twist the ankle. You, you might be at your lowest point, man. OK, we're supposed to take it cheerfully, man. As the scriptures tell us, which tells you also that. It's a given that we're going to be catching hell. We're going to be going through a lot. Okay. It reads on. And be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. So when we at the bottom. When we going through hell. We catching hell. Hey, be patient. Be patient and trust in your how about Shemiah Shai to bring you through. All right. We got the, we got the formula. Okay. The ones in this truth. Call on your how about Shemiah Shai. Okay. And pray. That the Lord delivers you. Okay. Now um, we have to have patience. We got to wait and, and wait on the Lord and believe the Lord is going to bring us through. The Lord already knows what we need even before we pray. Okay. But he wants to see if we if we trust in him. the scriptures say trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Okay. Which goes back to the Hebrew word live, which means your mind and lean not into thy own understanding. Okay. We just got to be patient. All right. Now reads on. Verse five, for gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men is in the furnace of adversity. OK, and being compared to his gold, because gold is, is a precious metal that could um, withstand, uh, um, you know, uh, fire. OK, you know, because gold, gold is, again, a precious metal. You can't put a non-precious metal in fire because why? It's going to eventually be destroyed and melt. OK. But not gold. And that's why gold is, tri um, is, is used as a metaphor in the scripture. OK, but acceptable men are going to um, are going to make it through the low points. OK, which is a given that the Lord is going to test all of us. OK, so it reads on. Um, again, Sirach 2 and 5 for gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity, okay? And when you go through adversity, you really see um, the Lord really knows uh, what we're made of when we go through our, our um, struggles, you know? The Lord's going to test us, all of us, you know? It reads on, verse 6, Believe in him, and he will help thee. Order thy way aright, and trust in him. So we have the formula. We know that we should call on Yahweh by Shemiah Washai. Trust in him that he's going to help us and deliver us from our adversities, you know, whether from our enemies, you know, from our uh, deliverance from our financial situations or uh, any elements try to come against us. OK, you have about Shemiah Shai is going to take care of us in the times of adversity. OK, well, we got to trust in him so we can be what counted as acceptable men. All right. Now, the scriptures tell you that um, we're going to be mourning. We're going to go through. We're going to catch hell in this bitch called America. Excuse my language. OK. We're going to catch hell. All right. Now, I'm going to get that. Um, let's see. Tw uh, Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority and who's in um, authority, not the righteous. OK. But matter of fact, let me read the scripture. So like it. Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. Now, are we rejoicing? No, we're 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 not living in. um we're not living in heaven, man. We're living in hell. OK, so there's nothing to be rejoicing about. It says, but when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. So is it given that we're going to be catching hell? We're going to be going through adversity. We're mourning. 
yeah, we, you know, you got some some brothers and, and some people in this world that, you know, they may hang out, uh, you know, uh, take, you know, take a few, um, get a few drinks, go to a few restaurants or whatever. But overall, people are mourning, man. OK, but we know the reason why we're in the truth. We know that. Uh, look, the ones in this truth are going to be tried. You're going to go through adversity. You're living in hell. OK, the wicked is ruling. Who's the wicked? Okay, the wicked is uh, the so-called white man, all right? The red Hebrew Edomites, according to Malachi, man, okay? So we're expected to be going through and catching hell, man. The scriptures tell us that. Now, um, also, when you read, let's see. Zechariah, the 13th chapter. Let me see. So lock it. Zechariah, the 13th chapter, verse 8. Okay. It says, And it shall come to pass that in all the land, okay, the land of America, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. Okay, that's two thirds of the so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. They're going to be cut off and die here in America, man. Death and destruction to them. Okay, the Lord's going to destroy them. It says, but the third shall be left therein. Again, the third shall be left therein. Hey, that's the uh, the elect, you know, starting with 144,000 and one third men, women and children uh, multitude. OK, uh, verse nine. And I will bring the third through fire, Salakia, through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined. OK, and the elect is, is going to be refined and um, uh, purified by this word. OK. Now, when you look at gold and silver, okay, precious metals, they can withstand fire and gold. You know, uh, they can like it, they can withstand fire, okay, at a heavy um, uh, level of degrees, man, of uh, Fahrenheit, because you know the fire purges off all unwanted elements, okay. It purifies um, the gold, but we're being purified by this word, all right. It says, and we'll try them as gold is tried. And, and we're being tried. You know, our patience is being tested. We go through different um, situations, adversity. Okay, but hey, look, the Lord is trying the men of the Lord to see if we could be acceptable men. All right. You know, we don't know who the elect is, but we pray we're part of that number and we endure to the end. Okay, through the trials and tribulations. It says, and they shall call on my name and I will hear them. See, the Lord is telling us to be patient. You call on my name. I'm going to hear you. I'm going to hear you. But you got to be patient. You got to believe. You got to wait for me. OK, that's a part of the um, the uh, the fiery um, trials, man, that we're going through. It says. Uh, Zechariah chapter 13, verse eight, they shall call on my name and I will hear them. So you got to know the names. The true Hebrew names, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, the Heavenly Father through the only begotten Son. Okay? It says, and the Lord will hear them. Okay? It says, I will say, it is my people, and they shall say, the Lord is my power. So ultimately, the elect uh, will be heard by calling on the names of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, and receive salvation. Okay? But then also, um, the Lord is going to, uh, what? He's going he's gonna to save those who, who believe in him. He's going to be there for those and continue to, um, you know, provide for them. Even in the times before, um, you know, Jacob's trouble, the times we're in now. OK, as we're entering into that time. Um, Psalm chapter 37, verse 25. This is um, this is a, a, a Psalm of David. OK, it says I have been young. And now am old, yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. Okay, so all the hell we catching, the uh, adversity, okay, the, the trials, the fiery trials that we're going through. Hey, King David said what? Well, he ain't never seen the righteous forsaken, okay, nor his, bed, his, his, his seed begging bread, okay? Why? Because the Lord is taking care of his people, man. Yeah, we might not have the finest cars, the, best, the biggest houses and all that, but the Lord is going to make sure his men, 
okay, the ones in this truth and their families are taken care of, the ones, you know, who believe. All right. Now, I'm going to bring out this precept. I'm going to close on this one. Um, let's see. Going back to Sirach, chapter 2, verse 9, so like verse 10. It says, look at the generations of old and see. Okay, look at the past. Hey, um, I remember being in the world and um, when I, I was meeting with a, a, a man about a business he, you know, I wanted to get into and he told me one thing that I, I never forgot, which was to be a, a true, um, to be a, a true expert in your field, you need to know the history because the history tells a lot. Okay, so look at the history of our forefathers who believed in how about Shemia was shy, okay? And, and, and see what what good was done to them for believing and trusting in Yahweh by Shemia was shy. So going back to Sirach chapter 2, verse 10, look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Okay, did any any of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, um, Moses, uh, uh, Joshua, um, King David, King Solomon, Lord Yahweh shy, okay? Hey, did any of them um, trust in the Lord and was ashamed? Okay, it reads on. Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken and was fear? Fear is the beginning of knowledge. Okay, the ones that fear you, how about Shemiah was shy? Hey, they weren't for, forsaken or abandoned. Okay, it says, or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? Okay, so the Lord loves it when you call upon him. He loves it when you trust in him. Okay. Scriptures say, they that fear me will seek that which is well pleasing to him. Okay? So, call on Yahweh Shem Shai in the times of adversity. Okay? Because, look, we're going to go through it, man. And our lowest estate, we, 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 we take it cheerfully because we know these are the, the, the things that we have to go through, part of the fiery trials. Okay? And, hey, look, you, we have the formula. We know who to call upon and to trust in. So with that being said, before I close out, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible and who rule well. And a double shalom to all the Akim out there pushing the truth and truth and sincerity, regardless of whom here or forbears. Shalom.